guys, happy Friday. How's it going? Do you love my hustle hat? This is from uh, my BFF out in LA, Shalene Johnson, who actually, come to think of it, I need to email her. I'm gonna be out in LA the week of, uh, I almost said five slash one. I'm so used to writing emails. <laughs> Sometimes I'm starting to talk. Twi do you Twitter talk and email talk? Like you say things the way you'd write them? The week of May 1st is what I meant to say. Um, anyway, so Shalene Johnson is Turbo Fire. You know, she's got a couple of Beachbody um, DVDs out. And then she actually has a new book out, yada, yada, yada. And she has these this great clothing line. And she sent me this, um, gosh, a while back when I hosted that Gary V event in Chicago. Because um, you know, Gary's all about the hustle and I'm all about the hustle. So anyway, there's that. But I have to apologize for not shooting videos the past few days. It was actually, well, first of all, I had this really annoying zit and I was just like not feeling like getting on video. I, I have to be honest. And then the other thing, actually, <laughs> and then, um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, I go to, you know, I have a Sony camcorder that I've had for pff, several years now. It's the first thing I bought. Best investment ever, Get, getting yourself a camcorder if you're blogging and you haven't started doing video yet. Get on it, especially. Why well, I have to say that to people in my Fitfluential network because they know and they're getting on it. Um, but I go to upgrade, or I went to um, do my transfer of my video files the other day, and it's like, we need to upgrade your software. And they, they changed the, um, it used to be like a PMB launcher or whatever, that whenever I, you know, connect my camcorder to my um, computer, it would launch this Sony PMB launcher. And they said, oh, we're, re re I can't even talk. we're replacing that with Play Memories or something. So, of course, I'm like, yes, and I install it. And then it, like... Instead of installing it, it just, everything disappeared. And I pretty much spent hours the past several days trying to either reinstall, do a system restore, reinstall the original PMB software because I couldn't get Play Memories and the Play Memories wouldn't work. So Sony, if you're listening to this, you really, really should pay for my first Botox section. session. God, I can't talk today. Session. Because you made me frown a lot the last few days. Anyway, so finally got it finished, and here I am. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I, a lot of props that I had to remind myself to talk to you guys about uh, to answer some of your questions, blah, blah, blah. But a couple of announcements. Number one, today is the third day that this broad over here has had no coffee. That's right, no coffee. Now, let me clarify, because Jill and Scott were asking me on Twitter this morning, they're like, what's up with no coffee? I am not trying to not have, it's not the coffee itself, it's just that in this process that I've been going through, where I'm kind of getting better and better about eliminating certain foods, and some of them, as I told you guys, I didn't, I think it's been easier for me this way because I didn't say, I'm going gluten-free, I'm going wheat-free, it just happened because I was trying to add more vegetables and more salad and more um, protein, so I was focusing more on what I was adding, and then when all of a sudden you step back and go, wait a second. I haven't had you know any whole wheat bread for a week and then you go that's that's what happened with me with soda I didn't say I was gonna quit it I just noticed that two days had gone by and I hadn't had one and I think sometimes in our minds you guys know I've said this I was like oh I couldn't quit soda you know I, I certainly like a certain level of caffeine or whatever and I thought it was gonna be this horrible process it really hasn't been um, I have not had agonizing headaches um, same thing with the coffee I had weaned myself down so I cut back or excuse me, I cut out soda 17 weeks ago. Wink, wink, just kidding. For a certain person that's watching this video. Four weeks, five weeks, whatever. I haven't checked the calendar. Um, but when I cut out soda, you know, that was the, the only caffeine that I was having after that was my morning coffee. And so my body's already used to having just that caffeine. You guys, I'm not joking. Like I was having no caffeine the rest of the day. And I'm still just as peppy as ever. So some of you that are like, she's only that excited because she has so much caffeine. That's not the truth. Clearly, look how excited I am. And all I've had is one cup of green tea. Now, back to why am I cutting out coffee right now? It's not the coffee because coffee has health benefits, as we all know. Um, for me, it's two things. For me to have coffee and have it the way I like it, I'm not a black coffee drinker. It just doesn't rock my world. If I have coffee, I either want to have like a cappuccino or a latte or, you know, the way that I've been making it at home. <laughs> because Tassimo and I broke up, as you know. He was not making cappuccinos the way he was supposed to, so I had to throw him out. Um, 
I've been using my fat-free, wait a minute, no, sugar-free Coffee Mate creamer and Splenda. And I just, you know, the last few days that I was having that, I was taking my Splenda, you know, taking one um, Splenda packet down, you know, every few days so I could decrease, you know, instead of putting 17 Splendas in one coffee, I was down to 16 and 15. Right now, one of you is going, OMG, did she really have that many? No, not that many, but it was more than two, okay? So, I was cutting them down, and then I'm like, yeah, I was just thinking, like, this is the one thing in my day that is so polar, it's like the polar opposite of everything else I'm eating. Isn't this the best song ever? Downfall, the trust company. Um, so, I was sitting there and I'm like, this really sucks. Like, and I just, I wanted to see, and I'm like, let's just try it. Let's just see what I can do. Ooh. I just said try. Um, so I got up the next morning and I made myself um, a cup of green tea. And this is the brand that I, I, I've been using this. I don't know if you can see the website. Can you see the website? It's, um, oh, the website's not on there. Here's the website. You see that? Um, I'll put the link up if I remember. Um, but when I was up in Seattle, I think I mentioned this on my last vlog, because I did an eye roll about a certain person I was having sushi with. Um, but they had really good tea. Like, I could not get enough of this tea. I kept going, can I have another cup? And she's like, when are you bitches leaving? And <laughs> I kept staying and staying. And then I asked where they got their tea from. So this is the tea I like. The only bummer is with these tea bags, I have to put like three in my cup in order for it to have enough flavor. What are you gonna do? But when we asked at my sushi place the other day, they said that when you brew loose leaf tea, like instead of this in a, in a bag, it'll brew it stronger. So maybe what I'll do is I'll order it, you know, and actually order the loose leaf tea, and we'll try that. Um, so yeah, three days, three days in a row, no coffee. I want cold turkey, if that's what you wanna call it. Um, have I had agonizing headaches the whole day? No. There's a few times, yeah, where I'm noticing a headache, but not bad. And I'm kind of just powering through it. Because really, is that like the end of the world? You know you're not going to have headaches forever if you wean yourself off of something. You know it's like a, a short time period. So just get over it. Really, there are people with far worse problems that they're dealing with compared to us worrying about a damn little headache. Um, and then... So that's pretty exciting, and I'm pretty damn proud of myself for all these changes that I'm making. Um, and you guys, I, I just have to tell you, I'm going to do a different vlog about this, but I feel like um, so, so many of you guys have been asking, how do I do this? How do I get out of bad habits? How am I motivating myself? I think the thing that's different for me this time around, because um, for those of you that have been reading me and, and watching my videos for a while, you know that it's been two years of me just kind of going up and down and up and down and being all upset, and, you know, just craziness and and I'm finally I'm really everything's different now. I'm sticking to things and doing things for the right reasons and I'm making progress that I haven't made in two years just internally and obviously with my workouts and with my diet and so on I think what's different is that I just have I guess the key for me is just an awareness before I was just so focused on like whatever diet or whatever workout I was doing and I wasn't really thinking about the big picture I wasn't doing it for the right reasons and I wasn't thinking about why I, I wasn't thinking about the cause. You know how we always say, if you go to the doctor, they just give you a pill to get rid of the, the symptom instead of trying to figure out the cause? I've done a lot of thinking, you know, towards the end of last year, and whatever you want to call it, self-exploration. Um, but kind of like really paying attention to like, why have I been doing some of this stuff in the first place? Why was I eating when I was angry? Why was I giving up so soon? Why? Why have I not, why have I stayed exactly the same for two years instead of making progress? And you have to take a long, hard look at yourself and figure out what you're doing instead of trying to blame it on other people or blame it on your age or blame it on perimenopause or whatever. Once you figure that out, then you can take the steps to change it. And so much about what's different with me is just recognizing behaviors I used to have. And when I recognize it, it's easier for me to go, oh, I'm doing that crap again, not gonna do it. Like now, I have to tell you guys, I, 
I would not lie to you about this because I've always been honest with you about my thought process and what I'm thinking. I am not sitting around going, I really wish I could have some Oreos. I really wish I could go get Krispy Kremes or I'm dying for pizza. Yeah, if you put a Giordano's pizza in front of me right now, would I want to have some? Yes, but the first thing I'm going to think about is the stomach ache I'm going to have afterwards from the dairy. And when you think about that, furthermore, think about the fact that I'm getting close to fitting in my old jeans again. Um, what's more important? Tasting a great piece of pizza or whipping out some new pair of jeans or your old pair of jeans better and feeling damn good about it and not going, oh, God, I have to worry about bending over on a muffin top. I don't think so. Um, so that's to answer, I know a couple of you guys had asked me that, and I'll, I'll do maybe a separate vlog about that because we all know I can ramble on about that forever. The other thing you guys have been writing me about is asking about what supplements and vitamins I'm going to be taking and why, and if I'm still doing the Genetics HD. The reason I stopped Genetics HD for a little bit is specifically because of this, let me, let me rewind, part of why I decided to cut the coffee and then also, believe it or not, I can't believe I'm saying this, I can't believe I'm saying this, I'm actually now not having caffeine after like one o'clock. So we all know green tea has some caffeine, right? I'm doing that because, as you know, I'm paying attention to my sleep and the fact that it's really jacked up that I have to take, or in the past several years, I've been taking Excedrin PM every single night to get to sleep because my mind is so busy that I, I think that I can't fall asleep without taking Excedrin PM. So um, I'm trying to fall asleep more naturally and I just had like several conversations with several people and they were all like, yeah, I don't have caffeine after one. And I used to always make fun of my parents. I'm like, I hate the word decaf, it scares me and I like caffeinated beverages and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I'm realizing maybe it is bad that I've been having caffeine all day and up till right before bed and maybe there's a, a way that I can get back to sleeping like a normal person and not um, taking downers every night. Legal, I might add, thank you, um, to get to sleep. So, I knew that part of this uh, genetics HD system had to have some caffeine and stuff that was gonna maybe excite me a little. So I wanted to ask Kelly at GNC about how I can use these products and not have it counter, effect, uh, counter what I'm trying to do with you know, not having caffeine after one, etc. So I did a call with her yesterday. She said, if I'm taking this in the morning, so I can take this and crap, I left the other one. Um, the uh, Vita Packs that come with this, excuse me, they're not Vita Packs, they're, I think this is them. The, uh, yes, this is gonna be them. So it comes with a little pack, Pro Sculpt, I think, which I will go through and, and show the two products that I'm going to stick with and then what she said to not take because of the, I believe it's probably like a, um, um, it releases over the day. I think it's the Meta Ignite. That would be what I won't take. Uh, so I'm going to give that to Electra. So she'll use that. But I will be back to using this. What, what I need to do now is take this list, which I'm going to go over with you in a second, of the vitamins and the supplements that I should be taking based on what I'm reading to help me balance my hormones the supplements that I should be taking for my fitness goals and then kind of combine them all together and make sure that they're all complementing each other. But from the book, you guys had asked me to tell you um, what the book, that book by Ann Gittleman said that I somebody should be taking. Number one is flaxseed oil every day. Two is black currant seed oil. Three is a multivitamin, making sure it has vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin E, magnesium to be taken before bed. Apparently that helps with sleep. I used to take that every day. Zinc every day. Um, and then they say if you still need hormonal balance, you know, women can take natural progesterone cream. And then there's this thing called hesperidin, which I have no idea what that is. I haven't looked that far. But those are gonna be, so I kinda have to look at what I was taking with this, and I might have to ask Kelly about this. Like I'm gonna compare what's in the um, ProSculpt, excuse me, Genetics HD, with this Women's Ultra, because looking at this really quickly, um, the Women's Ultra Mega Active has vitamin D3, B vitamins, vitamin C, collagen, hyaluronic acid, whatever that is, um, CLA, L-carnitine, calcium, but I don't think this has, and I do want to start taking um, glucosamine for my joints, that's always helped me. So I don't think this has glucosamine in it, and I need to see about, I'm pretty sure this is gonna have the fish oil in it, these packs, because that's part of it. 
Um, this looks like it has magnesium and zinc in it, but I just have to make sure it's the right, um, looks like it is. This also has the black tea leaves, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm looking at, at putting all together and hopefully like really starting this, everything that I'm gonna be taking maybe on Monday. I'm still one of those people that, you know, if I'm gonna do something, I'm not gonna go, oh, I'll just start with a few of these. I wanna start with them all. I actually took like three hours the other day in my office just to organize everything that I was so behind on. It's depressing. Actually, it was not depressing. It's just depressing to start, but now I am so organized, I'm gonna be like a hot knife through butter with all these deals. That's all I have to say. Now, this is a 15 minute vlog. I've shared a buttload of information, and now I'm gonna go eat my salad that looks absolutely disgusting from this view, but it's, of course, my favorite iceberg lettuce that I get made fun of all the time for, and my hummus salad dressing and Brussels sprouts sweet potatoes, and roasted red peppers. And then I'm gonna have some scrambled eggs and egg whites um, with some hot sauce on the side. And I'm going to work out later um, this afternoon and yoga tomorrow. So, namaste, peace out, have a happy Friday, have a good attitude, be nice to everybody, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.